Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the uh, Frank and 4 ROM for the Nexus 4. That is uh, the stable Marshmallow ROM available. So I've been uh, using this ROM for about uh, some days and I think definitely I haven't seen any major issue with this one because, uh, you know, I was getting some uh, uh, messages from people that which is the stable ROM. So currently at the moment, I think this one is the most stable one. Um, I recently saw some more ROMs for this uh, phone, uh, some really awesome ROMs that will provide a little bit more features so that this phone doesn't have uh, because you know every custom ROM that you install kind of comes with the uh, with the neck uh, with the ROM tools uh, that provides you some specific ROM uh, features special ROM features but this one doesn't have that it's really close to the stock one uh, but it doesn't matter you get all the features of a marshmallow of the new Android marshmallow so I'm just gonna quickly um, show you guys here that if I go here into about phone and also as you can see this is 6.0 version marshmallow and you can see we have this flappy bird type of game that you can also play so um, as far as the performance goes that's the main concern on uh, people's mind it's pretty awesome and um, and I flashed the Benzo G apps uh, all the links will be down below in the description box so uh, you can check that out so I flashed the Benzo G apps those apps are also working working absolutely fine uh, you get really few apps with this one so but you get the Play Store uh, from where you can download all the applications um, like Google Chrome Google camera and all that so uh, uh, so let's just take a look here uh, in the camera so uh, video recording and everything's working fine so I'm just gonna quickly record a video and you can also take a picture while recording the uh, video so I'm just gonna quickly stop and I'm just gonna show you uh, here we go okay I think this is the one You can see it's working absolutely fine, and uh, previously people were reporting that the flashlight is not working. Uh, it's also uh, been fixed. I don't know, maybe it's fixed or maybe it's it was happening with some Nexus devices. So uh, if we turn on the flash, you can see it's also working fine. And um, and if I just show you some settings there, so I was talking about specific ROM features. This doesn't comes with that. Come with that, like uh, providing you some different tweaks, double tap to sleep, and all that. It doesn't come with that. It does. It just comes with the the um, the stock experience with a root access. So you can install some root application. So we got all the cool stuff from Marshmallow, like now on tap, that works absolutely fine. Um, as you can see, I don't have any messaging or any application to test out the now on tap. So I'm going to try the Google Chrome. So basically, whatever you type, for example, if I type uh, Eminem and uh, OK, if I type Eminem and uh, and I just hold down the home key and the now on tab will show me the information about the Eminem, his um, Google search, his website, news about him, his images and his songs. So same goes for McDonald's and you know whatever you are searching the now on tab will going to detect that and sh will show you the recommended cards based on that. That is pretty awesome. So if you hold down the screen here, the home screen, uh, this will going to give you, oops, uh, if I'm just going to move here. So this will just going to give you these options. Uh, for example, this is basically the wallpaper option so you're not gonna get the settings or um, now uh, Google now settings from uh, just holding down the screen so to get there you need to open up the uh, the now uh, Google now uh, application and where you can access the settings and you can even turn off this now on tap if you don't like it uh, going into now cards and we have this option here now on tap you can just turn it off if you don't really want it but it's really convenient so uh, battery life uh, will be improved of course uh, that's the th first thing that I noticed when I first uh, started install these custom ROMs that are coming with 6.0 marshmallow uh, that's because that those feature of this uh, those mode feature of this uh, uh, marshmallow uh, which allows your device to have more battery life and it's in standby mode and also we get all the cool apps permissions 
and everything. Uh, we also have system UI tuner uh, where we got the option of uh, embedded battery percentage uh, where you can um, enable it to check out the battery percentage and also mess up with the quick settings and tweak them the way you want and you can also you know change all kinds of stuff you can see it works absolutely fine uh, from lock screen you can access the Google now and you can unlock the device and you can also access the um, the camera so uh, yeah uh, I think definitely this is working absolutely fine and um, and as far as its installation is concerned download the ROM from the link down below in the description box uh, on your computer I suggest you should use Wi-Fi because it's like 200 MB file but yeah Wi-Fi uh, use and then also uh, copy that ROM on your Nexus 4's internal memory and then boot into the uh, the um, it's um, uh, fast boot mode from holding down by holding down the power and the volume down button at the same time and once you are in that uh, you need to select uh, you need to navigate to recovery mode make sure you have the latest version installed of the recovery mode um, let me just quickly uh, show you here it's not going to take some time so uh, yeah once you are in the recovery mode browse to the place where you have the ROM just select it um, and make sure you make a backup first in case anything goes wrong and then do the wipe data factory reset then after flashing the ROM flash the G apps uh, you can find some better G apps on XDA I, I thought that is uh, um, I thought that there will be like a new uh, better G apps available but currently uh, I think Benzo G apps uh, is definitely the, um, the best G apps to go for so I'm just gonna show you guys how to get there you can see it's just gonna take a few seconds and you are in the fast boot mode from here select recovery mode um, if you don't know how to install a Android 6.0 Marshmallow ROM you can check out my channel for the tutorial I'll be posting the link for that video also in the description box that's basically a tutorial universal tutorial of uh, how to install um, any custom ROM that is coming with 6.0 version on your Nexus 4 but still for this ROM I'm just going to show you specifically uh, so copy the ROM into, into your internal memory and the G apps and as you can see these are the ROM files I'm just going to select any ROM uh, oops that's the G apps so this is the wrong Frank ROM here so I'm just going to confirm flash before that I'm gonna I have to do the uh, wipe data factory research so it's pretty easy if you have any questions or uh, any any concerns if you are stuck somewhere just comment down below and I'll help you and uh, and yeah that's it uh, definitely as far as stableness is concerned uh, this is definitely a very stable ROM uh, that you can have on your Nexus 4 that will receive updates in the future and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video peace out